Eric, it's Chris Barrow, and uh, welcome to my weekly um, video cast. And uh, I've actually managed to find a couch for you this week. Uh, we're up at my apartment in Man Manchester, where I'm working this week. Uh, so welcome to my second home, otherwise known as my Fortress of Solitude. Now, um, I wanted to pick up on, on something, which is that about 24 hours ago, I uh, tweeted uh, a certain comment uh, and what I actually said and I'll paraphrase it is that there's no point in spending a load of money on a website when you've got a dingbat answering the phone and uh, we've had quite a bit of response to that in terms of people posting comments and so on most of them liking it and uh, I just wanted to elaborate a little please if I may um, and there are two things that I want to say the first thing is that if you want a website that's going to work, a website that's going to constantly bring in a stream of new patients into the practice, uh, then my belief is that you need to be looking at an investment upwards of £10,000 uh, to have a website that's got all of the various knobs and whistles that are going to draw new patients into the practice. And we haven't got time now to talk about what all those knobs and whistles are, but there's plenty of people out there like Christian Joshi at Dental Focus and others uh, who can help you to put that together. So twenty thousand, uh, sorry, £10,000 gets you off the runway with a fantastic website. Second thing you need is a very sophisticated social media campaign so that you're using things like Facebook pages and Twitters and other social media communication systems to build a conversation, to build a tribal experience, to build the momentum that's going to bring all of that business into you. And I've spoken at conferences recently about the web marketing funnel, uh, which starts off with a Google search and then people taking a look at your homepage and then they look at the special offers and then they connect to your social media network and they get to know a little bit about you. And eventually it leads down to a moment of truth when they pick their phone up and they dial your practice number and they ring you and we're then at the bottom of that marketing funnel there's a very narrow neck which is the custodian of which is the telephonist because he or she picks the phone up he or she answers the phone and what happens next in the next two to five minutes can dictate whether in fact you then open out into a new patient assessment, uh, a clinical consultation, a treatment plan, the delivery of that treatment plan, and then enrolling a patient as an advocate of the practice so that they become a center of influence and you have a lifetime of new patients coming in. So marketing to the funnel and then delivering out again. And right in the neck of the funnel is the telephonist answering the phone. And if he or she isn't word perfect, and if he or she isn't on brand, then all the money that that's been invested in getting people there and all the money that's going to be invested in delivering the service has been thrown in the bin. So I get very disheartened when has happened to me recently I am asked to ring a dentist and Philip her books are calling I'm driving down a motorway somewhere on Bluetooth and uh, I ring the dentist for a, a chat about our coaching services the phone's answered in three rings and all of a sudden this voice says dental practice and I pause for a moment and I say, hello, it's Chris Barrow here. I have a, a telephone appointment with Dr. So-and-so at 11.30. I wonder if you could put me through. And she says, who is it? And I say, it's Chris Barrow. I have a telephone appointment with Dr. So-and-so at 11.30. wonder if you could put me through. Now, what happened next, I didn't know this, was that the individual in question actually put her head round the dentist's door and said, did somebody called Paul on the phone for you? And the dentist kind of thought about it and then maybe put two and two together and said just put him through i'm driving the car down the m4 all of a sudden clunk click i'm through to the dentist uh, who very quietly said you probably know why it is that i've asked you to call me and of course i did so my moral from this tale is don't put all of that money into marketing and don't put all of that money into delivery unless you have got an absolute star performer in the neck of that funnel answering the phone on brand and doing the job the right way. Thanks for listening.